don't know whose idea was that <laughs> to buy a car that was that old, but it did it work. It did work. <laughs> it did work. It was nice. I just remember the first time when we started living together, I was like, let's buy it. And you're like, no, you know what? We don't need to buy it. We just need to spend and collect all the receipts. And yeah. <laughs> I was well. like, ciao, guys, and welcome back to Land Yes, this is about habits that made us financially stop. Something had to change because we were not happy with the lifestyle that we've been living when we were students and also a little bit after when we started working. And these are the things that we're going to share with you. Really habits that we had to start doing to enable us to afford our own place where we're living in now. Yeah, so the first goal, financial goals that we set, it was to actually uh, start saving money. We set like an amount of money that we wanted to to save every month, each of us, and we would stick to this uh, and, and, and we program how much we should save per month. And therefore we started to spend less than what we were earning. Even though what we were earning was not so much, we regulate our life not to arrive at the end of the month without any money left on their account, but to have always a surplus. And that was a big step, first big step for us, because we start saving. It was important, and it still is, that when we are spending money every time we get our salary, we are focused on spending on things that we really need. Mm -hmm. um, you know, there a point where I thought, you know, I could, as soon as I finish working, that my first car is going to be a brand new BMW. Yeah, and and that was everybody's dream. Yes, for me but, a motorcycle. Though. Yes, but I think when we and I, th I was still like a PhD student when we we decided okay let's think about it really we want a car right mm -hmm. yes and, and and I think of course we needed a car because we were living in a small town and again that's because we needed to save and the thing there was really we have to buy something a vehicle. As long as it allows us to go shopping, like mm -hmm. to go grocery shopping and pick up, you and know, go to the gym. Stuff and go to the fitness, like to the gym. And that was like, you don't need to do it with a brand new BMW. No, you just need something that takes from point A to point, point B. B. And I just remember, we put already, that was also like the beginning of our investment stuff, but I, I just remember we took... 800 with that 800 we had like a nine, uh, 90, <laughs> 98, 1998 Ford Fiesta that yeah, we were named Fiesta. Froggy because it was green <laughs> it looked like the frog and was rusty and, and I'm thinking we were spending so little on the car but at the same time honestly shopping was done mm -hmm. we could go to the gym anytime we wanted yeah that is true and, and yes, at some it was point freedom. we also took the little bit further than what we supposed to ah, yeah. Yeah. Of course, saving are important, but I think the mentality changed at some point, especially when we started saying we want to invest. Yeah. Saving is good, but at the same time, sometimes saving feels like hibernating. But when we really changed our mentality and we say, oh, we are getting Amazon stuff, we are, when we start thinking like, okay, our little savings we are doing yeah. now has to somehow multiply or add a quarter more of the money to, to, to afford us to get, you know, some commission to, to pay that uh, initial payment that we need to pay for the house. So for me, the investment mentality changed everything. Yeah, absolutely. The, staying uh, still on this habit of the fact that we started to save money, another thing that helped us a lot was budgeting. Budgeting was an habit that we introduced to our, to, uh, to our uh, couple routine that really make us understand how much we were spending on unnecessary things. A budget for clothing, a budget, the budget for, uh, for buying grocery, groceries every single month. And what kind of groceries? Because sometimes you want uh, you... You don't have to eat caviar every time. Every single day. Yeah, it's not only about that. I would read it. And also, uh, really, the amount of money that we were spending going every single day is by buying stupid things out like street food, going out for restaurants. That was a huge amount of money that we were wasting every single month and we could have saved. So that really also visually really made us realize that there was some other, we, we had to change some of our habits. 
I don't it was think it's a, bad. A, 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 at the beginning it was like that. No, we also no, we, listen, listen. We were doing it like that. It, 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 it doesn't give you a goal. Your goal is to remain within 300, then it, it's, you know you have gone over 300 and you are still within. But when your goal is just to collect receipts, sweetie, you have receipts for 500, you have no goal. No, what was the limit? Wait, you, you don't remember well. We did that the first two months to see how much we were spending actually per month. And then after we realized how much we were spending, we were saying, okay, then instead of spending that, we are going to put a common wallet just for buying groceries and we put cash in it. Oh, okay. So we knew that those that cash that we put in that wallet should be enough for the entire month worth of groceries. Yeah, sometimes also enough, but you get through you yeah. will add. I would say oh uh, another thing that is also for me changed is setting goals together as a couple. When if you put there that in, like you were saying, we were in our 45 square feet or in our one room apartment mm -hmm. and you were saying, wh when we are moving, I was like, let's rent a bigger apartment and like, no, we are, when, if we, we can only move out of here if we are going in our own place. Yeah. And that's a goal you set and so you have two years to think of, okay, how do I change my change. financial habits to make sure that in two years mm -hmm. I have living space because then the goal is not to rent anymore. So goal setting together, that is really important. Absolutely. Setting goals give you also the, the start, the motivation to start researching on something. This habit that I see here, which I also think is very important, is diversifying of income. Now, uh, I think it helped a lot that we also thought of uh, extra income, how to make extra income. Mm -hmm. It just, if, if you're in a situation where your job alone doesn't allow that. Yeah, and you need to your find job and, way. Yeah, you need to think of, okay, how can I maybe invest here or there to get a little bit, excuse me, for me to, to have this initial deposit that I need. And it's, we were thinking also around that, like, okay, we need not only to go to work eight to five, we also need to maybe think of how we make extra income here. Some of the things obviously did not always work, no. but most of, you know... Yeah, for example, I remember I, st I was starting to, to have an eBay shop to, to <laughs> sell second-hand records because I, like one of my things was going in uh, open markets, buying old records that I know had a value and then resell it online. That was another stream of income, even though it was, we are talking about a few hundreds per month, but it was yeah, something. Yeah, hundreds, even if it's just a hundred per month, at a, at a year, it's a thousand that's added, so yeah. it's, it's something. And the very last thing that I think I want to talk about is, uh, we have talked about really focusing on what you need and spending on what you need instead of what you want. From time to time, maybe, yes, spoil yourself with what you want. But the very last point that I have here is two things. Number one is, uh, when you think of budgeting, it's also important to budget for, entertain, you know, like leisure mm -hmm. and trips, because I think it, it's very common that on a Friday you feel like, oh, Friday, I'm just going to wherever I want, mm -hmm. right? It's right. But I think it's important that also in that leisure, how much you spend on holidays and stuff should be mm -hmm. pre-budgeted. Of course, you cannot be sent to send, but it's just, you are aware that I need, of course, per month to contribute this to my deposit of the house. That's I right. can't just wake up and go to uh, Every, club. Yes. <laughs> like all that. night long. All and night long. <laughs> All the drinks on me. No, we aren't doing that. If we want to get a house, we aren't doing that. And the very last thing I want to say is also everything you want to get done in your house, also in your rental apartment, mm -hmm. not everything needs to be done professional. And in Germany, is a country where you're professional <laughs> for everything. Not only that, uh, the <sighs> fact is a uh, manual work in Germany is highly retributed so every single thing if you have to uh, uh, you know just call a plumber to fix a pipe it's going to cost you money if you know how to do DIY I think that's a big help and it was in many cases for us because I like to do handworks 
Yes, sometimes I was like gazing because I'm nervous, but I think it helped because if I just think you could call somebody to come definitely paint your inner room, yeah. you could do that, but that will cost you if the person is spending the whole day, like 13 euros per hour to, spend, to pay them, other than just buying paint and watching a YouTube video, doing things yourself. So that is also something that helped that most of the repairment and few things we needed to do, do it again, including wedding planning. <laughs> Do things on I your own, if possible. Otherwise, if you don't want to do things on your own, look for students' jobs. <laughs> you can. It's, I, I, true. I, I, I. it's true. It's true. Don't like that mentality. No, but, yeah, baby, there are also students looking for jobs, and if they are payment per hour is not as as, as high it's as high. a professional, mm -hmm. so they will still get your job done with more pressure because they want their CV to be better and to be recommended to other people. So you can as well for that, and I think that helped. Yeah, that brings us to. The last topic. To the end. Ah, to the end already. Or is there anything you would like to add? I would like to, yeah, I would like to add the something actually. I would like to add the fact that you as a couple, you need to learn how to work a, as a team. And we say have couple goal. Why? Because especially when you're talking about finances, you need to be, the both of you need to be on board. It cannot be that your partner is buying a, a brand new car while you are saving money to buy a house. It doesn't work like that. Or if it does, it's going to bring a lot of tension in the, the couple. That also highlight that when it was a decision to say, let's take the old 800 car, your partner has to be on board with you. You can't yeah. be like, okay, now I don't want it either, because otherwise it's not going to work. Yeah. And, and I think I was happy that, I don't know whose idea was that <laughs> to buy a car that was that old, but it did it work. It did work. <laughs> yeah, so that was pretty much it. So if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to hit the notification button, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. Yeah, so how do you actually do it with your partner or yourself? What habits did you do or you have to put in place to make sure that you achieve your Goal for us, the house was the biggest goal. I think we achieved so, we far. Achieved so far. Maybe you have also other stuff, and just leave that in the comment section below. See you in our next video. Ciao.